Philippians, you got the same thing happening today, man. Same thing with the Greeks. Jake was always doing, uh, taking uh, 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 the uh, persons from the heathens and shit, making contracts and agreements with the heathen to deceive the people or just be all our wicked, period, man. It's uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse uh, 11. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men, which persuaded many, which y'all are doing, y'all persuading Jake to go off, man, to uh, follow false doctrines uh, and, and philosophies in this bullshit you're teaching, man, all to be against GMS. Saying, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. That's a, that's a mind frame of you niggas, man. Y'all don't want to uh, uh, go against uh, uh, Esau and the agreements y'all made, because you know that uh, you're going to be living in sorrow, which you should be doing, because that's what the fuck we here for. But y'all want to live good in Babylon, man. Hey, one guy got on there that's a part, or uh, I guess he a new member to the I I U I C uh, camp or school, whatever church. And uh, he was like, "What made you like want to basically know that Elder uh, Nathaniel is teaching the truth, and we got the truth here? Something pertaining to that. You know, don't quote me word for word, verbatim." Basically, was like, man, everything that he said is right here. In the, it's in the book. He said, if you don't believe, he said, if you don't believe, you can go home and read it for yourself. And that's off. You can't go home and just read it for yourself. You need teachers. So how are you brand new and just gonna say, oh, okay, I, I attended. Maybe you know, I'll have a long. You maybe went to a few classes or went been to class for a few a couple of months, few months. And all of home, you going home and you read. Oh yeah, that's what it is. And now in three months, you just that's it. Cause I went home and read it. And you if know? you did go home and read, you see what he talked about. This is what the, I'm sorry, brother. Ahead, he there. was saying that if you don't believe, you just go home and read it. Like you can just go home and pick up the Bible. Yeah, and understand it. And then read it and then get understanding. But say he was saying, go off, go based every. Base your readings off of what Elder Nathaniel is teaching. And then you just go and say, okay, Elder Nathaniel said this breakdown mean this, and you read it. But then you don't uh, search the scriptures. You know, link up all the different precepts. Link up, go into the meaning of words. You know, you might have said, okay, he said this breakdown mean this, and you read it. And then, okay, that's what it means. Them cats can't even get Deuteronomy the twenty second chapter when they talk about the <clears throat> uh, taking a woman by force and humbling her. That ain't talking about raping a woman. <laughs> you know? That's a simple statement, man. I lay hold of her and humble her. Just saying, you you read it everything. Cause if y'all teach that or say that that is in the scriptures, then all them women y'all gonna lose your wives. You know, all them women gonna. Lead us look school. Anyway, man, y'all brothers got it. Whatever y'all got, if, no, if y'all got say something. That, that's that simple as hell, man. That's why them do like it's so hard to deem them all zombies, man, and that word fit y'all to the teeth. Cause all y'all doing is taking what you hear and, and believing it, cause you 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 glorifying and, and worshiping this nigga, man. Y'all not seeking the truth. Y'all looking to be a part of this big thing that the, the, the man, who the fuck, what the fuck you need a tour bus for? Yeah. I'm trying to get recruiting. Yeah, uh, recruiting zombies, man, but that's just simple. You so know, you, you got to search seen. these scriptures, man. You see our big bus? We famous. Yeah. <laughs> With Nate's magical <laughs> garment uh, flinging in the background, man. Well, you uh, this, you uh, get you a nice garment with all these beautiful fringes on it. Go ahead, Proverbs 14 and 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his goings. Just backing up what the brother is saying, man. A prudent man gonna search these scriptures, look in the words, go into the original language that it was scribed in to get the proper understanding, man. And then just say you're not going into it. The elders teach to do that. Yeah. You know? The elders tell you to don't just take 
just because we break it down, you go back and you re rehash what we teaching by going into them different words, you know? Going into the precept, do it for yourself, you know? Yeah. Or uh, they'll touch on a breakdown or something, oh, yeah. and then it'll be like, uh, I ain't gonna. I, I'm, I'm. I ain't gonna go through the whole thing. Go home and study it, man. That's yep. love, man. That's that's trying to build you up, man. This is hey, now this this that's why the elders call your followers Nate zombies because they have no life of their own as as far as spiritual life. They they take your word for. As if you the most high, and then they just run with it. Whatever you say, oh, the name don't matter. Oh, well, the name don't matter. You know, what, oh, well, conspiracy theorists are nuts? Oh, well, conspiracy theorists are nuts then. When the scriptures deal with conspiracies, man, it was a conspiracy that they these guys took a, took a vow that they wasn't going to eat till they killed Paul. That's what you call a conspiracy. Hey, Steve, Stephanie. Look yeah, they, when they, they say they got men alive, Bill Foss. Yeah, they, they conspired on on Stephen. Yep, they conspired to kill Jeremiah. Yeah, they, it, it, man, the scriptures deal with conspiracies, man. Now you break that word down, con is, is wit, and inspire meaning breath. So it basically, they come together with one breath, just like us out here, man. We conspiring right now. This is a conspiracy to teach the truth though. Mm -hmm. Our conspiracies ain't wicked. That's why we go in the words. It's like I went into the thing about lust. Lust ain't, ain't wicked. And it can be wicked. A conspiracy can be wicked. But in, in and of they, their selves, they're not wicked. So you're right, man. It's a, it's a, we're, we're with one breath, and this is our breath, man, this word. These scriptures are our breath. And see, the elders, like the brothers said, the elders tell us, man, just like he said, not to take their word for it. Go into it, man. We, we in GMS, man, we are like the Bahrains. God. We dig and research, man. We, we, we do our own studies. Hey, what scripture that is? Uh, 19? Go ahead. Acts 17 and 11. Okay, come on. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Uh, Thessalonica. Thessalonica. And that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. All right, bring it out again, brother. Acts 17 and 11. These were more noble than those in Thess Thessalonica uh, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily. These being the Bereans, man, they were more noble than those of Thessalonica, man. Because the Bereans searched the scriptures to see if what Paul was telling them was so they didn't say, well, this is the great apostle Paul. No, uh, rumor has it that he learned he went off three years with your Howard shot, you know? We just gonna take his word for it and run with it. You know, he said, man, we're gonna go to the scriptures, man, and see if this is right. And the elders, they pushed that. They pushed that, man. Now, you don't push that. You sit up there proud, doing your glasses, man, making your, making your followers feel like idiots, you know, when they say something wrong or get a question wrong or don't know something, and you sit up there just proud, man, and you, you want them to worship you as the most high, man. You don't, you don't push for them to be like the Bahrainians. At least I ain't seen the video. You can, you can pull up videos of the elders all the time. They tell us, man, don't be parents. Don't be no fucking parents. They don't want us out here being mockingbirds. They want us to grow and develop in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. 
they want us to be edified in the truth. Now, you obviously don't want your followers to be edified, man. You want them to follow you. So with that being said, man, you know, it's a beautiful thing, man, that the, the spirit got on Elder Tahar to get on the black woman, man, and have brothers and have brothers to go in on the black woman, man. Because it's, you know, it, it, it's really necessary. It's really necessary, man. The black woman done got away with far too much for far too long, man. And then no one holds her accountable for nothing that she does. She can get away with murder in Babylon. They do it all the time. Get away with murder, man. Every day. You know? And they just completely out of order. Totally out of order, man. And the only one calling them on that bullshit are the brothers of GMS beginning with our elders and Tommy Sotomayor. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Right. And they, they call him Uncle Tom's and, and this and that. But he bring out the truth as far as the black woman goes. She she's man, she is out there, man. She right up there neck and neck when it comes as you want to measure wickedness. She running a, a, a neck and neck race with Esau. The scriptures man. say all wickedness is but little. It's but little, come on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, go on. Uh, this is Sirach 26 and 12. She opened her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain and drink of every water near, by, near her. By every hedge will she sit and lay her quiver against every arrow. Nothing but whores roaming these streets, man. Y'all lifting the black woman and she running around sucking and fucking every dick she can tell find, man. Yo, but, but why is that? I mean, you can speak on why. Well, I'm going to let the scripture say, uh, 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 this is uh, Sirach 25 and, and 24, uh, 4. Of the women became the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce. Well, the main point was in 25, man. You give these wicked women uh, liberty to uh, uh, gad abroad, man, and roam the streets freely, they gonna fucking call, create nothing but death, man. And the so-called white man that gave them all the freedom that they fucking want in this kingdom to be whores and sluts, man. And that's why. And fucking oh. get pregnant time and time, kill their babies, get men put to death, get men locked up. The black woman is death, not God, man. And they gad abroad uh, butt naked. Yep. Right. Literally. Right. And you know, the, the, the black woman is really miserable in spirit, man. Yeah. Uh, her spirit, she has a miserable spirit and she, she's self-centered. She's a narcissist. She, she's got the, everything must revolve around her. Yep. So any, anybody flash a smile at her, she will open her quiver against every arrow because yeah, she, she seeks attention. Yeah. Right. She just she any, any, anything to make her feel special. Mm -hmm. But she don't she don't understand that well they don't understand discipline. They don't understand restraint. Discipline and restraint is what makes you special. Not cause some nigga smiles at you because he wanna get the box. Yeah. And get in your drawers. And you letting every Tom, Dick, and Harry run up in you. And then you just a, a regular run of the mill hoax. Yep. There's nothing special about you, man. Yep. And the brothers in Dallas, man, they they called you bitches, man. I mean, they I mean the brothers went in, but them brothers, they they keyed in on you black women, man. Y'all are really some miserable pieces of shit, man. And it's just no other way to put it. I always got drama going on. Yeah. Right, because they're not right within their spirit, man. And even them, them so-called conscious are the, are the worst ones. The conscious women are the women that claim that they love the Lord or they they believe in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Man, get way away from them, them bitches, man. Hell yeah. Just get, get, man, don't even look that way. 
If the black woman in the scriptures are right, man, she is as death. This woman is as death, man. And that, that filters down through all the tribes, man. It begins with Judah. You Judite nigga bitches are horrific. Totally horrific, man. You can't put that title on them, Mike. Judah. Hey. Uh, Judah. <laughs> what you mean? No, Judah calling them a Judite. No, I'm just no, saying. Right. I'm no, just... no, you right. But just, you know, just for the sake of, yeah, it kinda. goes down through all the tribes, yeah. man. From the way, the way you look, the way you talk, the way you smell, the way everything about you, man, is totally horrific, man. And in, in, in the Most High, through the Spirit, is taking that curse off of the, off of the elect. And when I say that curse, I'm talking about you black women, man. Most brothers in this troop don't find you attractive no more. When I was in the world, I was mesmerized by the, guy, by the ass, you know. Mesmerized, you know, you thought that, like, damn, look at that bitch, fine in the motherfucker. Yeah. Now, I see a big ass if it's on the on the black bitch. I say it's stinks. But it's, it's dry. Disgusting. And it's dry. We know what time it is. <laughs> you gonna it get stinks. a carpet burn, a dick burn. Yeah, it's yeah, dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's worn the fuck out. Yep. It's worn out. Yeah, you can't blame it on the fan no more, bitch. You black bitches need to quit saying the ceiling fan drying your pussy out, man. But we're right. We didn't, we done woke up to you, man. We know that you ain't about nothing. Now, let's say these other tribes, they are, they are more feminine than Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know? They, yeah. they have, they, their voices are softer, their yeah. skin is smoother, and they, you know, they have a working Boston gland. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they talk like niggas. They, they, they talk yeah. like men, they act like men, they got tattoos like Lil Wayne. And who the fuck wanna take that home, yeah. man? Even just, just for a one night run. Man, I don't wanna deal with it. You know? But the most high, the, the black woman is a curse. The scripture tells you she is as death. Yep. Hey, so, can I? Right, but the, the most high, it's pulling that curse off of the brothers, man. Yeah. We don't. We 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 looking after. We we going for the Lat, Lat, Latina tribes, man. And even shit. I even go as far as to fuck with the Edomite. I, I ain't fucking with you black bitches, man. I ain't gonna. I I learned not to never say never. But for the most part, I ain't dealing with no black ass nigga bitch, man. Yeah, I can't even say that too loud. Cause I want to pop up. Yeah. Behind the bushes and say, oh, I'm I'm cursing. Yeah. Bring the cops up here. Oh, one of them other camps might get you talking about a Edomite woman. Hey, Come on. <laughs> yeah, at 14th Street Homo and Yara Yara might jump out the trash can. You, you gonna now I was going to say, the scriptures say, he that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And the main reason a lot of these guys fall out the truth or get kicked out and they basically they fell out is behind a woman. And we finna get there. You right, brother. I'm glad you brought that point up, man. That that was all? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and bring that out. I start up. First answers, uh, 415. Okay. Uh, 415. Oh, ye men. Or like the brother saying, man, you cannot underestimate a woman, man. You just can't do it. She, a woman does have power, man. A woman is powerful. And we're going to read about it. But for the elect, our power is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Like I said, man, he and the, and the brothers went into it beautifully, man. You know, as far as with, well, he was, he was quoting the other Gabar. We got to be hard, man. We got to be hard to women. As far as, you know, dealing with them and, and you know, if you got a woman in your life, man, you can't let her sway your heart, man, or, or sway your mind, sway your soul. You, you got to be single. Your eye must be single in this truth. A woman will blur your vision faster than anything, man. 
And let's read about it. Uh, Ezra. Well, first Ezra, uh, 4 and 14. <clears throat> o ye men, it is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither it, is it one that excelleth. Who, who is it then that ruleth them, or hath the lordship over them? Are they not women? Right, so go ahead, brother. Go ahead. All right. Uh, women have borne the kind. So the, the king. This guy, this was a this was a uh, contest, so to speak, between Zerubbabel and two heathens, that they were wanting to see who could come up with the wisest saying. Saying, one said, you know, the king is the strongest. So this guy saying women is the strongest, and we're gonna find. But that's Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel saying that the women and the truth is. Right, he gonna yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. He gonna say that. But but right. But let's read it. Let's get it. Uh, this is verse 15. Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them came they, and they nour nourished them up in the up that planted the vineyards from whence the wine coming. Now this this could as well have been uh polite right here. 